What's up guys, Guns for News back here, and today I want to talk about how to choose an optic for your um, range, EDC, whatever kind of <clears throat> pistol you're looking at. Really the purpose of this is just to review a couple manufacturers and um, also just not be fooled by what everybody is going to say on Reddit or things like that because that actually happened to me when I was very, very new into optics. This was, um, I actually had the, I believe it was 407... K it was like the ACSS Vulcan basically had a circle and like a carrot on the inside. They call it a Chevron for Holosun. And I had that as my first optic. Um, and I remember I sold it, or I uh, returned it because I had bought it and the optic was incredibly blurry. And the basically what I was told is that I had astigmatism. So which I've always had 2020 vision and I actually got I get tested for astigmatism at my eye doctor um, and I do not have astigmatism. So that led me into a whole road of finding optics that weren't going to be blurry as shit, quite frankly. And um, what I found is um, and I'm going to go over a couple different ones here in name. I just brought one out here so that way, you know, I could explain to you what I'm seeing. But I just um, ordered this Holosun. I decided to give them another shot. This is the HE507GR, uh, which stands for green, X2. It's just the model, the version 2. Um, and long story short, it looks pretty clear here in the camera. But in real life, there is a lot of... I don't know if it's like the, the reflection on the emitter, like if they, the emitter piece here, cause they have like a cover on it. I don't know if they just have like a very low quality emitter. And, but what happens is when it hits the actual projection glass, um, it is distorted, like super distorted. You can even turn the brightness down and you still have distortion there, um, which is very, very irritating. Both I and uh, my wife have, uh, you know, we don't wear glasses or anything. I actually have 20, 20 vision and everything is perfect. But this one for me is just incredibly blurry. And it's not like it's huge, but it definitely strains my eyes after looking at it for a while because it's like your eyes are trying to focus on it. And the fact is that the dot is incredibly blurry. Now, this is my, um, this is a gun that I have that's new to the channel. So as you can see, there's a Romeo Pro, Romeo X Pro on here. I have it in the holster because I actually am carrying this gun. So it is loaded. But for the purpose of the video, you can see. Um, that it's a dot and my eyes actually pick it up in real life exactly the same. There's no distortion. There's no um, br uh, brightness, brightness setting that I have to change it to to make it better. Obviously, as you like turn it up to like almost max brightness, it's going to naturally, you know, kind of distortion. But that's the same thing that I'm getting with this. I'm actually getting most times when I'm picking this up, um, if there is, it's funny because if you look at it and there's light, if there's light hitting it, then actually, and that's what's what I know because I've tested this on a few different um, lightings. And when you have no light that's hitting the front glass, it's blown out. Like it looks like an X. When you put it towards light, it literally is a circle, like a dot, but it is still has smi like uh, very, very small imperfections in it to where it's still not a perfectly round dot. This, whether I'm looking in light or it's completely dark, I have a perfect dot no matter what. Um, and this one's not, this one I would say like in terms of perfect dot, this is like literally like a 50, like it's horrible. This one I would say is probably around 90. I would say still um, because you have still a couple more things that come into play here. Glass clarity, parts internally that they put in them, just quality control. SIG does a really, 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 really good job um, on this optic, especially for the dollars. Um, just because I think you can find these for around 400 bucks and this guy is like three 330. So, um, you know, not a real big difference when you're spending, you know, already almost $400, might as well just spend a little bit more and get this one. Um, in my personal opinion, uh, because I have, have had this on every single uh, Holosun that I've had, and I've had a couple now, um, but I've had um, the EOTech E-Flex. That one's got a perfectly nice, I'd say it's a little bit more closer to this one in terms of like overall sharpness. Um, I do think this one's going to be more durable, but in terms of like actual reticle dot clarity, just crisp 
um, of the red dot, I would say it's closer to this one. Um, they're too close for me to say which one's better in terms of like the dot. I would say overall durability, like a better optic. I would say this one's worth the more money, but you are going to a smaller window. Um, this one's more uh, tailored for like duty carry, and that's kind of why it's flush fit. The EOTech hangs over a little bit. You're going to have a bigger window size. So depending on what you want, you can choose between the two, um, which is really why I picked this guy because this one to me resembled more of this one, but with a bigger window size replicating, you know, this one was kind of the in between, which is what I was looking for. However, the optic on the five, uh, hollow side is just completely garbage. Like it's just, I hate saying it that way, but like really what's another thing that angers me is if you go on Reddit, if you go on Google, if you look at anything, people are just saying, oh, well, you have astigmatism. You just need to practice looking at, you know, the try to focus on your target, not your optic. And that's a bunch of bullshit. Like your optic should work regardless of how you have it. My, all my Trigicons are perfect. I've had three RMRs, every single one of those, even the six MOA dot, it was a larger dot, but it was so crisp. And again, that's like the gold standard of the, of the, uh, firearm industry is like Trigicon. And I can see why now, um, you know, I still wouldn't say the RMR is better than the Romeo X pro. I mean, durability, sure. But I hate the fact that it has a bottom mount battery. That to me is just so be a uh, bar behind its time and the window size with how big it is and how it sits is incredibly small. I actually pr prefer the Romeo X pro much more for that reason. But if I was to say overall, uh, technology, durability, everything like that, I would say the RMR is definitely the gold standard. Uh, my SRO is absolutely perfect. I don't need to focus on anything else. I can look at the target. I can look at the dot and the target. I can do whatever I want to. And the dot is always crisp and clear. Um, and that's really something. I mean, if this came out in a green, I would literally just buy another one because this is awesome. I wish they had like a Pro XL version, version that would be a little bit bigger, uh, more to resemble something like this, which would be cool because I don't want something as big as like a 507 comp per se or a SRO, uh, more like this. But this optic itself is just absolutely horrible. So I'm trying to save you guys the time and the money in dealing with them. Luckily, I bought this through uh, Euro Optic, um, which I bought several optics through them. I messaged them. They're incredibly quick to respond. They've already sent me a return label. So this guy will be going back. I did not. It was so horrible. I couldn't even get it zeroed. I literally, it just hurts my eyes looking at it. The camera, of course, doesn't, doesn't do it a, a very good job, but in person, and you can literally go through and there, it's just riddled all over Reddit. Like, oh, you have astigmatism or, you know, you can't focus on the dot or this, this, and this coming from somebody who cannot clearly see this, but has several other optics. Again, I've, I got, um, RMRs, um, which I, I sold all three of them now, but I've had those in the past. Those are fantastic optics in terms of like clarity. I currently have the Romeo X Pro. That one looks fantastic. I have the EOTech E-Flex on my SIG uh, Spectre Comp. That one looks fantastic. I have the SRO. That one, of course, looks fantastic. Um, so on and so forth. And they've all been perfect. And this is the only one out of five that I just can't. And it's I've had the different version model of this. Um, more previous gen. This is the newer one. So I thought, oh, maybe, you know, it'd be good to go to. Um, positives of it. I do like the fact that it has some easier to click buttons that are, are recessed. Um, it does have a side mount battery. And um, I mean, it comes with a really good design. You actually get, you know, if you buy a shadow systems, you get the screws right out of the box that fit this and it has a direct mount and an adapter plate. So it's literally a direct mill for it. So it's really awesome. And then the only thing that you run into is a fucking dot that is just blurry as shit all the time when you pick it up. So um, to each their own, I suppose. But for me, it's, I guess it might be more of an OCD thing for me, but after having dots that are crisp and clear, I cannot go back to something like this. Like this is just not what you're wanting. I guess it's kind of, you pay for what you get. I mean, it's cheaper for a reason, Chinese company, um, just little things, even like the way that they did the, the overlap here on to, you know, secure the, the window is just, it's just all, I mean, quality of it, um, is just not there in my opinion. And we're hollow sun to make these adjustments, have a crisp, clear dot. I definitely would buy this all over again and put this on here because I do like the the technology that supposedly if your battery dies, you have that, the side mount battery, the overall picture, like the window size is awesome. Um, but the, the, the biggest problem you have is when you're looking through the window of your optic and when you want it to essentially function how you want it to function, you're going to get this distorted um, dot and it's just not what you should be dealing with, especially as a new person that's going to buy your optic for the first time. Trust me, spend a little bit more money, get something like this. Um, 
I have not been able to really put a ton of rounds through the EOTech E-Flex yet, so I can't really stand for it and say, oh, it's super durable. This one right here, just based on how it's built aesthetically, I have put actually a lot of rounds through this guy, so I just switched it over from my AXG Legion over to this guy, um, and it's been completely, like, it does not lose zero. It doesn't mess with the brightness settings. I haven't noticed any sort of, I mean, like, literally the finish is, is I'd say the finish on this is even more durable than the RMR, so... I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. It's actually been a perfect optic for me. Um, then again, my SRO has been fantastic as well, but I mean, you're getting into more of a competition um, size window there, which I, I'm sure this would be more durable if you were to drop it than an SRO. I mean, there's plenty of other YouTubers that have dropped SROs, like, you know, they've been mounting them or whatever, dropped them from a table and, and cracked them. So, um, you know, durability wise, if you're looking for something for like EDC, this has been my favorite one that I found. I actually like the big top, you know, square window. Um, it's got some rounded edges there. So that way um, you can still get a little bit more picture before you lose the dot and it's easier to, to acquire it. Um, all in all, it's been a fantastic pick for me. It looked a little bit different at first, but it sits low enough too. That's the other thing with the deck height on this one. You can see how much thicker this one is as opposed to that one. It's got integrated rear sight. So it actually lets you run like this one. These are actually the factory optics. Uh, fi uh, the factory sights metal rear sights and front sight that come with the gun and so it makes it really really easy to i mean you don't even have to switch out anything um it's really nice you had a little bit of co-witness through this one but as you can see this is a much thicker deck height and there's other uh uh we weapon optics like leupold uh delta point pro that are even thicker than this guy but all in all um, I definitely think this is a uh, optic worth mentioning. So again, this is the SIG Romeo X Pro. So really the thing to not get confused is ordering the Romeo X because that's going to fit the RMSC footprint, which is for smaller handguns, more of a concealed carry. This one's more for like the full size guns. Um, so this is going to fit like basically your RMR pattern, uh, Delta Point Pro pattern um, and all that. So hopefully you guys have found this video um, to be useful. I made this video because... I was quite frankly tired of reading false information on the uh, internet per se and just making them feel, make me feel like it was something with my eyesight when in fact I have several other optics that are all emitting a dot and I'm able to see those clear and this is the only one I can't. So, and also <clears throat> one thing that you can try too is try this in different lighting settings to help reduce how much um, punch through you're getting from the actual emitter and it does mess with the actual um, how your eyes perceive the uh, the reticle. It's just <clears throat> flat out. The easiest way to put it is just, it's just the clarity of it. It's not there to where you need it to be. If you want a optic that's literally going to be perfect out of the box, it's not going to be this one, guys. So hopefully you liked and uh, enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to become a supporter of the channel, um, be sure to check out the description. There is a Patreon link. Um, other than that, stay tuned. We have a lot more stuff to come to the channel. We actually have a couple new firearms, a couple new updates and, and things like that. So thank you guys for watching and see you next time.